we're going to briefly discuss the criteria needed to support an instrument in terms of content validity. So if you turn to page 7 of the workbook, you'll see that there are three criteria that one needs to support in order to prove that an instrument has content validity. And those three criteria are, one, do the course evaluation instrument items parallel the course objectives? Are the evaluation items in proper balance to the course delivery times? And is the evaluation instrument free of irrelevant information not taught in training, which doesn't include prerequisites? So if you look at the bottom of page 7, you see an example. And we see that there are three course objectives. Now I'm using the same scenario I used earlier with the education professor. And you can see with the three course objectives that the first two have the same amount of delivery time, 30 minutes each, and the third has a delivery time of 60 minutes each. So if you turn to the next page, here's the self-efficacy instrument that the education professor created. So the question to you is, do you think that the self-efficacy instrument below is content valid? Go ahead and consider the three criteria of content validity, look at the post self-efficacy instrument that was created, and then jot down some of your ideas as to whether you think it meets the three criteria. And then shut off the video as you do that, and then return to the video when you're done. Okay, so let's debrief on what was just taking place to determine whether the self-efficacy instrument that was created is content valid. And if you recall from page 7, there's three criteria. So the first one asks if the, item in, the instrument items parallel the course objectives. So if we put it in a, a table, we see that each course objective is here and when we look at it next to the self-efficacy item we do see that there is a parallel so we would actually comply with that criteria now the second asks if each item is in proper balance to the course delivery times if you look on page seven you'll recall that the first two objectives navigate and match were 30 minutes whereas the third one was 60 minutes so in order to weight the self-efficacy instrument appropriately we would have to give double the amount of weight to the third objective in order to support the instrument in terms of content validity based on that second criteria and the last one is is the evaluation instrument free of irrelevant information and as we can see as we lined it up we don't have any additional information we're not asking something that wasn't a part of the course objectives so we we meet that criteria so in essence the way the instrument was created would be content valid as long as we weighted that third item double in terms of points in comparison to the other two